I'll start by saying some of my good friends are flamingos. Well, some of my friends are flamingos, and I think that gives me the right to ask comment on flamingos. I know them, I see how they move, I know the colors they, they, they have in their feathers. I know the looks they give you with those beady eyes of theirs. I know flamingos, and because I know flamingos, I'm about to lay down a serious challenge to all flamingologists around the world, and it's this. As far as I know, every time I've seen flamingos on television, they've been flying around. Like they stop somewhere, hang around a bit, then they get up and they fly long distances. But these flamingos here in Amsterdam, they just move back and forth in front of a mirror. Oh yeah, uh, slight interruption. That drill noise, that drilly noise here in the background, that's, uh, they're renovating one of the zoo buildings, so you'll just have to put up with it, as I am. But this also adds to my case. Now, what kind of sensible flamingo, what kind of normal flamingo would hang around with this noise? I mean, would you do that if you were a flamingo? I wouldn't do it at all. So, I'm wondering about these things, and because when I wonder, I investigate, sort of a bit like a detective. And I got word from a special source, uh, can't mention them, or I can't mention who they are, or their house address and stuff like that, no phone numbers. But this special source told me that people who work in the zoo are not just working on animals, that they see robots as a form of life, and if robots are forms of life, then they can, you know, fiddle around with them as they see fit. And these things that you're looking at right now, you think they're flamingos, but they're not, they're robots. All right, first of all, I have to say this. If you know me, you know I have nothing whatsoever to do with conspiracy theorists. I have no time for them whatsoever. So I'm saying this, I'm putting my reputation out there and I'm telling you these are not flamingos because if they were flamingos, they'd fly around and they don't do that. And anyone who's seen these flamingos <laughs> fly around better tell me <laughs> because I've seen, I've been watching them for years and years and years. I've been watching, I've studied them. I actually got to know them. In fact, I can tell you something else. I went to those flamingos at night and I said, hey, are you real flamingos? And they told me, in flamingo language to get lost and they swore and they told me to get just get out of their pen and uh, there went a potential flamingo friendship but the thing is they don't behave like normal flamingos and that that's all I, I, I I'm asking this question from the goodness of my heart you know that's somebody coughing <laughs> over on the left but I ask this question this question comes from the goodness the utter utter <laughs> The utter goodness of my heart. <laughs> hmm, why am I laughing? <laughs> but I, I care about flamingos, and I just don't like seeing flamingos hang around in front of mirrors. That, that's a waste of a flamingo life. So, uh, yeah, think about that. Uh, flamingologists out there, get in touch, and let's investigate the flamingos stroke robot uh, situation in the zoo. Yeah? Okay, see you then. Bye.